Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another cooking video. The acoustics in this uh, kitchen is probably not the greatest, so you'll have to bear with me. And I've pretty much just set my camera up on the top, top of a couple of books because I tried using the tripod, but it didn't uh, want to actually work for me. So today I'm cooking stir-fried chicken with broccoli and brown rice. And just uh, while I cut everything up, I'm just going to leave the camera there so you guys can actually have a little bit of a watch and then I'll pick you up and actually show you um, it cooking this time and I'll leave the recipe down in the description if just in case you want to have a look at it. So let's begin. First I'm just prepping the broccoli part which is, it was six florets just to actually make it a decent amount. and. So I pre-cooked it and they're just halved. I uh, pre-boiled the kettle which I'm supposed to fill up the saucepan with. Oh no, frying pan. And then um, once I do that I'm supposed to boil it for and fry it for about two minutes. And then once I do that I start doing everything else. But at first I'm just prepping everything because that's the part that takes the longest. In total, it uses one chicken breast because this, this recipe serves two people and I decided to be a nice brother and cook for my sister as well, seeing as our parents are away. And I decided that I'd try my hand at cooking today because I thought, why the hell not? I've tried this one before and it was like, pretty good, but my cooking skills overall might be a bit substandard to regular people because I don't all that often cook so it's probably just pure luck that it turns out well. Just gotta make sure I cook the chicken well because or else I don't really want to get salmonella poisoning. I realised every time that I seem to cook food gets bloody everywhere and I don't know how. For me, it always seems that the just the prepping of the food takes the most, the longest amount of time. Probably because I'm probably one of the t worst people at cutting things. Which, when you get stuff that's a little bit tough, it is just a complete amount of pain. I'm not going to use the entire capsicum because it is that much. It's bloody insane. And then another bowl. Because if I use too much, then it will just be, it won't be anything but cat food. And although I do like it, it's, to me it's not the most best food that I, I much rather if I had onion, which I've got here. Personally I like onion a hell of a lot more than I do capsicum. And I've got one of my cats keeping me company down the floor. I'm just pretty much trying to water off with my foot so that she doesn't jump up and try and eat the chicken. Because she's been known to do that, if you leave your food up on the bench for too long, she'll jump up and try and eat it. And half the time she does, and you don't realise it until you come back in and you see half of the food actually missing. So yeah, if you see me looking down at the floor, that's because I'm trying to make sure that the cat doesn't jump up. Because I'd much rather not have my food ruined. Because it means I'd have to go out and buy some more, and I really don't feel like travelling anymore tonight. No, oh, stay away. Now comes the best part, which is cutting the onion, and I just, I'm going to be weeping like a little baby. 
I know that now. Whew. I hope it takes as long as possible. So, reach my eyes. And no. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, it's not so bad. Yet, anyway. Ah, oh, but I can feel that it's coming on. I like, I like eating onion, not cutting it. Okay, so now I'm ready to begin. And I hope it actually turns out well. And I've got my phone here as a little timer because, you know, I can't be bothered actually grabbing a real timer, so I'm just using my phone. Since I've pre-boiled the kettle, I, I'm just going to reboot this. Yada yada yada. Put the kettle on the boil. A medium pan. Put it heat. Pour water. Broccoli. Boil four minutes. That's the. Now it's pretty much just a matter of waiting until the uh, water starts to boil and then it boils the kettles. So start and take four minutes, I hope. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I come back. Hey guys, so we're back. I just finished boiling the broccoli and now I just put in the oil and uh, two teaspoons of ginger, I mean garlic, into the uh, wok. Now I'm just going to put in the ginger, which I kind of just guessing because it's supposed it says 15 grams and I am just taking it at a guess of how much that is so it could be that's where my cooking skills fail because I'm not a very good judge of how much stuff is and so wrong one bring it on to a low heat and then I stir fry the ginger garlic and onion for two minutes it's not going to be much of a stir fry of the other things, but it's mainly just getting the onion to cook. Because with that, the onion is the main part of the whole entire thing. Okay, so now I've been stir frying it for about two minutes. I have got to add the chicken and then continue to stir fry it for another two minutes or however long until it gets to the chicken is almost cooked. Okay, so now I've uh, cooked the chicken for a bit, for two minutes more. I've got to put the broccoli in and try not to burn myself in the meantime of doing it. Probably a hell of a lot better way of moving it across, but... I'm going to move it off the heat for a second or two and put it on the low just while I add the other ingredients, which is a, how much was it again? A tablespoon of soy sauce. And 
Really? Everything's starting to run away from me. And then a tablespoon of honey. And I think I just mixed the... I should have washed that. But... The next person that gets it honey... Oh, clean it up. Okay. I wouldn't recommend having soy sauce and honey together. Not the greatest mixture. And the capsicum. Now I'm going to bring it back onto the heat, plus adding in several teaspoons of the water tablespoons of the water just to help stir fry the entire thing. And I'll just show you guys what it looks like. This is what it's looking like at the moment. And I'll turn the light on because this camera does not do so well in the dark. I realise I'm getting honey absolutely everywhere. I'm not sure how long it tells me to actually cook this through for a while. Now while that is happening, I am just going to be what was it again? Heating up the uh, rice that I decided to get because it's just the regular long grain rice. Because that by itself is not enough just to suffice because I can eat that like all myself so I've got to make it so I can actually feed my sister as well because just because I'm a nice brother. And I'll place it down again. You probably can't see anything, but gotta uh, squeeze around the rice. And I'm just following the instructions. It says just to let out the air. And it's to put it in from. A microwave on high for 90 seconds in a yada yada microwave, so it's going to be about 75. I could be completely wrong and just butchering the entire thing that I'm cooking. So once the rice is done, I'll pretty much be done overall, and that's about it for the cooking thing, and I'll show you guys the end result. And I hope it's actually good, because it took me a little while to cook, and it has made me bloody starving. But there's one thing that you learn when you're cooking with me, there is always going to be an immense amount of mess. and. I really need to work on my keeping my workspace clean because it ends up being with that massive amount of work that I end up having to clean up afterwards. And it's just, nobody likes cleaning up. If you do, I think you're rather weird because, holy shit, yep, okay, the rice is cooked. And I'll see you guys in a minute once I've served it up. So I've served it up and everything and it smells delicious, the rice smells delicious. I haven't actually tasted the rice because this is the first time that I've used the microwave cooked rice and it should taste fine. Well, I'm hoping so anyway. But this is what they look like in the end. So, they look rather delicious and I am pretty much going to just cover up my sister's one with some glad wrap after it stops steaming and then just hoe into mine because I am absolutely starving. First of all I should probably pack away all the leftover ingredients so that they don't get 
disgusting and I don't get in trouble for leaving them out, which probably wouldn't be the best. And yeah, so that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you found this interesting and if you like me doing these uh, cooking videos, I like doing them. The name of what they, it is called is, at the moment it's Cooking With Me VV because I cannot think of anything else to what call it. If you guys have any like suggestions of what I should call this, uh, the cooking segment of my YouTube channel, leave it down in the description down below because I would very much like to hear what you guys have to say. And as always guys, stay safe, au revoir, peace.